In this Drupal Commerce 2.x demo, we'll go over configuring a payment gateway to our store. To do this, I'll start by going to the Commerce Admin menu, then Configuration and finally Payment Gateways. The main Payment Gateways page shows us any gateway that has already been configured. We can see if any gateway is any, in any particular mode, such as test mode, used in development. Also, whether or not the gateway is in use is shown in the status column. Finally, the operations menu lets us edit a gateway. The arrow reveals additional options such as delete. To add a new gateway, I'll click the Add Payment Gateway button. Our first step would be to name our new payment gateway. Next. We will choose a payment plugin to use. Any payment plugin not seen here can be added if the integration already exists. If not, integrations are actively being developed. Once the plugin is selected, we can then configure it. For this demo, I'm going to do something unique to give you an idea of how adaptive the Drupal Commerce platform can be. Every platform can accept payment through credit cards and PayPal but I want to set this up so that our customers can manually send payment via email money transfer. To do this, I'll use the manual payment plugin. Then, I need to give it a name for administrators to see, a display name that our customers will see, and finally, some instructions that will be shown to the customer after they have completed their order. Right now, the payment instructions are being entered as plain text. I want to add email and contact page links. Changing the field text format to HTML will let me do this. A modal pops up to give me more information about this option. When I continue, I'm now presented with a full HTML content editor. I'll use the editor to complete the instructions, then save the new payment gateway. And there you have it, the new payment gateway has been added. The enabled status shows that it's active and ready to use. Let's take a look at what our customers would see. I'll quickly add a product to my cart, then view my cart and start the checkout flow. On the order information page, I'll scroll down to the payment information section. At the bottom of our list, we're presented with our new option. I'll select it, enter in some example payment billing details, and continue. Customers have a chance to review their details before placing their order. I'll complete it now. Done! Our payment instructions are displayed on the completed order page along with the order number. The message explains to the customer where to email transfer payment and that the order will be shipped once payment has arrived. As an administrator, once payment has arrived, I can then update the payment status and fulfill the order. Thank you for watching. This concludes our Payment Gateways demo.